this is day two of our trip. We're leaving, uh, what was it, Wen Wendover? We're leaving Wendover, uh, which is outside of the Bonneville Salt Flats, and uh, just entered into Nevada. Got ourselves some some breakfast, and uh, we're on our way. We got a, looks like a nine hour trip today. Our goal, San Francisco. What do you say, Chris? Big tick going on. It looks like it's a little low on oil. So we had to pull over here in Nevada. It's still early in the morning. Well, I guess it's nine. Birdie needs a little extra TLC, some oil. We stopped and got some coolant when we were still in Utah. Just checking her over. She's a little overheated, little ticky. see that gasket was kind of sitting a little bit like that so I'm going to try and glue it to a valve cover get to sit like that and bolt it down. Terrible design it has two bolts here and here so if you tighten it down too much it stretches out and then it's just going to leak so hopefully that solves the oil leak because right now we're using about a quart every fill up so um, try that out and see if it works. Too much. So this is day one of our road trip. We're uh, just left Monterey, California. We got our our packet of all of our checkpoints that we're gonna hit today. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and go for uh, some point totals. So we're gonna take the long way around and uh, try and hit a couple of these checkpoints. Adds about 100 miles to the trip, which in my head just cal calculates to uh, about uh, 20 more dollars in gas. So uh, shouldn't be too much, too much more. Well, I guess gas is a little more expensive out here, but we'll see. We'll see what gas we can find. We got our McDonald's. We got a mascot. This is the winged bison. It's about 65 degrees. Uh, the water's over there, but you can't see it because it's very hazy. Been like that for uh, a couple of days, but there's a couple other teams that are pretty awesome. There's a, there's a Citron, there's a Rambler, there's a Corvair. Uh, there's another land yacht team uh, that is driving a big old Lincoln, and they have an awesome dog, and his dog is dog Leo. I don't even remember the dog's name, but I do remember their names and they're Mark and Ginger and their dog is beautiful and is coming along with the ride. Our dog had to stay at home because of air conditioning and lack thereof, but we're, it's like cold here. We got our like one sweatshirt on uh, that we brought with us, not expecting to come to California I'm and be cold. Well, you want your coat back there. It's supposed to be warm in Oregon, so we'll see. <laughs> Our drive right now is taking us up past through Oakland. And then our first stop is uh, Point Reyes. Point Reyes. So we're going to try and go get our checkpoint and maybe walk out. Maybe the weather will be a little nicer throughout the day. And uh, we won't hit any of Oakland traffic, which sounds unlikely. I guess San Jose traffic we're looking at. We'll see. There's got to be traffic. But anyway, we'll keep you posted. very 
very cloudy, kind of monk, buggy kind of day. Uh, but definitely having a good time, meeting some cool people. And these roads are a dream. They're a little different when you're driving this boat of a car with the trunk full, but this is a some of the windiest turns I've been on and couldn't be more happy. Woo! Oh my god, baby. <laughs> Scraping everywhere we go. Scraping everywhere, the weather keeps changing. Sun, fog, back and forth, hot, cold. RVs in front of us. Yeah. Sometimes we have a following of uh, some other Lemons crew. But it's, uh, it's going well. We'll see you at the next checkpoint. So we're rounding down day one right now. We finished all of our checkpoints for the day. Uh, we hit all of them, which was awesome. The last one we saw was a giant whale uh, that some guy built in his uh, swimming pool. Swimming pool. It comes out of the pool. Like it's gigantic. And, and right now... Kind of weird. And right now we're driving through the redwoods, the big thick forest, looking great. We got in a, California. Still in California. Got a team member in front of us uh, driving a Chevy Caprice, maybe, or a, uh, I don't know what it is, but uh, we just caught up to them, and I believe we've got a, a van following behind us doing this, the same turns as well, and Wildcat's holding up good. day two last night we got in really late set up tent and just crashed out it was dark out here we are in Crescent City California just packing up the site right now getting ready to go it is beautiful out here but it is also cold it's got to be about 50 degrees in August and I don't know why we weren't quite ready for it we did bring jackets but it's a little chilly uh, 15 hours yesterday. So we got in about midnight. <sighs> so today we're going to pack up and get ourselves on the way. Yep. We'll see you out there. <laughs> and this is Waffles, our mascot. So it's a little later in day two. We're going through checkpoints today. And the checkpoints today are pretty much bridges out here on Route 1. Um, we're being a little cheap and we're taking them from the car as we go because we have another probably 11 to 12 hour day today. So we want to make sure we can pick up some ground and not spend too much time. We spent a, a lot of time yesterday in our checkpoints kind of stretching and talking and, and then we got in real late last night so we're trying not to do that again tonight. But we're still on Route 1. Uh, in Oregon now. Oregon is beautiful. It is a you cannot pump your own gas state, which I kind of thought I heard about. And when I went to get out of my car, the attendant told me to get back in my car. Um, 
thousand dollar fine. Yep. And was there? Yeah, I think it was just thousand dollar fine. It's illegal in the entire state. It's a thousand dollar fine if you attempt to pump your own gas. In Oregon and New Jersey, but gas is cheaper, so I was Yay. okay with that. Um, uh, we're hitting another flag, man. There There's are a dinosaur. There is a lot of construction out here. Um, we're finding out that we're just constantly getting stopped at flags to let other lanes pass, but uh, we're gonna go to our next bridge, which the bridges are gorgeous. To try and post some pictures. It's gonna be weird when we pull up to Seattle and expect somebody to get out to pump our gas. So high maintenance. So we're outside of Portland, Oregon right now. Uh, we just met up with a uh, jeweler to get a ring sized. So we're all excited about that. Everyone here is excited that Portland is having an 80 degree day. Woohoo! We were happy to not be cold for the past couple days. We've been cold and wearing pants. Now it's But sitting in traffic at 80 degrees is a lot. We're moving now, so there's breeze, there's sun. I arrived in Bremerton with style. I uh, got here to the uh, got here to the hotel. Left a little uh, scrape mark coming in. Dropped a few droplets of oil, and we're getting ready to call it a night. A long, a lot of the other competitors have showed up. Most likely, gone to bed. Yeah, hotel. 
Seattle looks really beautiful from looking out. It looks really cloudy, but I have heard that about Seattle, that again, the whole West Coast has pretty much been cloudy, except for Portland, which was super sunny and awesome. Um, yep. But we're about to get out, I'm only scraping a little bit, getting off and on the ferry, leaking a little oil. I brought some rags with me. I'll, you know, I'll help out. I like to help out. And, we're, uh, we're on a bender bust, right? Bend, Oregon, or bust? Yes. We'll see if we make it to bend. <laughs> <laughs> our mascot. Waffles. We lost waffles. So we're on our way to Bend, Oregon right now. We just went back through Portland. We had a terrible hit of traffic in Portland because apparently there's an eclipse on Monday and everyone wants to be in Oregon to see it. So we're going to see how bad Bend, Oregon is because that also might not be very good for us, but we'll live and we'll learn, I guess. Everyone's trying to get out of town or get to the camping spot. We pulled over and we went to Deschutes Brewing and we got a beer, so that, that was nice. That's good. And yeah, we got dinner. And dinner. Or seafood. Excellent seafood. Tuna and crab. Crab um, roll. Sitting out here in, in Oregon. Very beautiful weather, windows down, feeling good. And we went and got this. So we woke up this morning and I uh, had to do a little bit of car repair. Uh, packed up the tent and we're leaving Bend, Oregon now. We had a uh,
our exhaust leak is uh, temporarily fixed. By temporarily, all the bolts seem to get loosened and now they're tight. So, anyway, we're uh, on our way to Weed, California. And then from there, we're going to hit the five, hopefully, all the way to Santa Cruz with no problems. You're everywhere.
made it down uh, Death Valley here in Vegas. Very angry. It's on how you mix the two, and it starts just where. Las Vegas is brutal. We made it back safe and sound. Well, we made it back. Uh, the car took a little bit of a beating. Uh, pretty sure blew a head gasket and with a little radiator fix was able to limp the car back. Got back at about 6 a.m. on August 21st uh, after about 17 or 18 hours of driving. Very slow at about 60 miles an hour all through the mountains. Uh, we had to drive through the night to keep it cool, but it's back. Uh, let's see, we got a, we got a little bit of, uh, of oil and stuff from pulling spark plugs and putting down tools. A lot of grease along the front. A little bit of uh, antifreeze over uh, up onto the windshield here. Let's see the headlight bezels have a have a nice little bug collection. Actually, didn't even notice that. Looks like we uh, uh, lost a lost a bright there. Looks like it got hit pretty good. Yeah, the rest look okay. Few bugs on the plate. And then uh, had a little bit of uh, oil leak during the entire trip. So uh, the rear bumper is pretty much covered in uh, exhaust soot and oil. But all in all, successful trip. It's going to need a little TLC. But uh, we're happy about it. We're happy about it, we had a good time, wouldn't change it for anything, met a lot of awesome people, and uh, who knows, maybe we'll see you next year.